Hi, I'm Monique at Fountain Tire. I am here to show you why winter tires are a purchase you are going to want to make this year. Winter tires are marketed to anyone who drives a vehicle. So a lot of people typically will buy all season tires and run them all year round. But what a lot of people don't know about the all season tires is that they are rated for temperatures of plus seven and above. They have not been tested on temperatures below seven degrees. And unfortunately here in Canada, especially in Alberta, we have super cold, harsh winters with lots of snow and ice. So you're going to want to have a tire that will perform best in those temperatures and on those road conditions to keep you safe as well as other drivers. Okay, so here I have a set of four winter tires. Now these tires are already mounted on a set of wheels. However, generally winter tires and any tire really don't come mounted on wheels unless you pay that additional cost. And those costs differ depending on the type of wheel you are looking for. Now the price of winter tires start at about 110, 120, and that would be for a small passenger vehicle. And they can go upwards of around $300. And that would really change with the size of vehicle, the type of winter tires you're looking for, studded, not studded. And again, those are, price per tire and not for the set. Now the thing that a lot of people don't know about winter tires when comparing to all seasons, like I had said before, all seasons perform best in temperatures up to seven degrees Celsius, while winter tires start performing best at temperatures uh, below seven degrees. And here in Canada, we don't typically have winters that stay above seven degrees. We have pretty harsh, cold, icy snow slushy winter so you do want and really need winter tires on your vehicle when winter comes around and those temperatures start to dip so that you are safe as well as your passengers and anyone else on the road now looking at this tire you can see that it has a snowflake and a mountain and that means that it is rated for snow and mountain like conditions which we do have here in alberta and in bc and when you look right here, you have an arrow pointing this way. So it also has the word left. You want this on the left side of your vehicle and that way it will rotate forward and it's going the right way. And when you look here at the tread, you have arrows as well facing forward. And that just means that these are directional tires and that you'll want them on the right side of your vehicle facing the right direction so that as the tire hits the ground right in here, water and slush and snow will disperse through and away from your tires so that you can better grip the ice. And then here you have these little cuts that are made into the tire and to the tread, sorry. And these, as they hit the ground, will open up and allow for better grip on the ice. Uh, the thing is about winter tires is that you don't wanna run these in the summer. Now, a lot of people do continue to run them all year round because it's easy, it's cheap, you don't have to rotate them or change them off and back on. However, when you run them in the summer, winter tires are much more softer in rubber, much more pliable for the ice and for the snow in those cold conditions that when they are run in the summer, they heat up quite quickly and will wear the tread down a lot faster and see here it's nice and deep. These will last you a couple years at minimum and they will they will really work well in our winters. And when you run them all year round, the tread works down a lot quicker and they won't last as long and they're not as safe in the summer as well. Here also, if you can see, there are little holes and these are for studying if you want to pay that additional cost. And that just means that you will grip better to the ice than you would without. However, these are really great winter tires because they have all of the siping. They are directional to help disperse the water, the snow, and the slush away from the tire. So I myself run winter tires every winter and I make sure that as soon as temperatures warm up and they are steadily warm and above plus seven for at least a week or two and I can see in the forecast that it, if it dips down below seven, it's maybe for a day or two and it's not gonna stay. And I know that the snow is gone, the ice is gone, all of that fun stuff. And that spring is here to stay. That's when I usually put my summers on so that my winter tires aren't 
wearing down when they don't need to be and my summers are performing better and working best as compared to winter tires. So that is why I use winter tires every year and that's why I believe that it is important that anyone who drives a vehicle make sure that they have the best winter tires on their vehicle. Now I hope that that was enough information and if you have any more questions please let me know. Thanks.